I have not recorded a YouTube video in, um, what is it like, like a tutorial or like anything with like a voice in it for like a good half a year, so I thought it might be a good time to come back. <clears throat> so, um, basically I have had this big project that's been going on for, honestly I think it's half a year at this point. And I just wanted to give a breakdown for each shot that I have for it. Um, though, technically speaking, I'm not finished with it. A lot of the shots are not completed yet. But I thought that it might be a good idea to break down everything that I have until up, up to this point. I don't think I'm going to do every shot. I don't have enough time for it. I'll do, I'll do shots that I think are interesting. Let's start with this one. So this is the interior shot, um, and this is, I think, one of the best renders that I'm going to have in the project. Um, shit. Uh, um, where was I? Yeah, of course. Um, so this is one of my absolute favorite scenes, um, that I made. It's relatively, like, not working if you go out but if you just look at it from this scale that looks pretty dang good and i like it so um one of the first things i did was i modeled this tv very simple it's just a beveled cube with insets and more bevels um there are two materials here there's the chrome material that i used for the edges for uh, specular highlights the wood material and the screen material very simple um a second thing that i want to talk about is the table itself now this is relatively simple it's mostly i just took a cube i extruded it beveled it extruded again scaled it and just kept doing that and made all these cool shapes which i thought looked very good and obviously there are two materials the wood material for the body and the wool for the table itself and then we had and then i had to make these little um balls pool balls biller I, I don't know actually how this board works i i took a stock photo which is kind of funny i just took a stock photo uh balls yeah i just took a stock photo without even licensing it from shutterstock Please don't sue me. Um, and just project from view, and it looks completely fine. It it you can't see the low resolution from here, and everything else is sort of easy. Um, eh, let's get rid of that. Okay. Um, the background wall. It's just a texture from uh, where was it from? I think it was from Quixel Mega Scans. Yep, it was from Quixel, and uh, I used also their decals to add some details on the walls. So you see that, wait, these, these details are really, really helpful to making uh, a edge of wall seem real. So this is with, let's just highlight that area. This is with, and this is without. You can clearly see it looks better with. Um, yeah, and that's mostly it. The lighting is relatively simple. It's just uh, one single point light that lights the whole scene. And yeah, okay, let's move on to the next scene. So the next scene I would like to break down is... Um, let's see. Yeah, the subway shot. I think this is one of my all-time favorites um, I think it's the one that turned out the best so um, uh, I'll just delete the rig that did not work out very well for me anyways yeah so this is the subway shot that I'm very proud of I think looks very very uh, good um, so that I've lost some texture so I'll quickly reconnect them and I'll come back after I reconnect them so, um, I just reconnected all the textures, and yeah, so I'll do a quick viewport breakdown of this scene. It is 
one of the more complex i i won't say it's complex but it took me a while to figure it all out so the base is just this it's just a step with a tile texture from mega scans and then there are other layers to it too um uh yeah the other layers are i'm gonna hide that the other layers are for example the decal now these are what added a lot of the detail these are just grunge scratches and other decals that i got online and i used them everywhere now the third layer of detail are these german nazi world war ii propaganda posters uh, you see an example here um yeah and the i just put all all of them all over the walls and i followed the ian hubert uh sticker tutorial for uh, for the yeah how that works i also added some little assets like wood wood this garbage i actually made this myself i followed a tutorial on how to make it i'll i'll find it and link it in the description a really good tutorial that told me how to make it so yeah it's kind of broken because i sort of screwed up at the end but it doesn't show on the camera so yeah that's all i care about some other rubble assets and that and that's basically it now the other thing that i love about this project in general is the lighting um i think that this is just going to be like a minute of just lighting demo like like a demo reel and i love the way it is lighted i think lighting is the best thing that i have right here so let's just go to render view and see how that looks it's gonna take a while to load but when you look at it from here it just seems like a normal scene um it's gonna take a while to render all of that but um oh yeah and the text on the screen that i've going there i also followed an in huber tutorial for that this just seems like a pretty okay looking scene but it lacks in detail but what makes there is just uh three sources of light um one on the top with a light blue color and one one to the right now these are these are what really made it look good so the f the top light is what provides most of the lighting but the light on the right is also very important because without it um let me just hide that it just it does it can't appear here because of the noise and stuff but like it looks so much better with the little accent light and obviously i have this entire subway train which um appears in the middle of the shot yes there we go it appears in the middle of the shot and i think that this looks really good i, I like the way this looks um yeah that's basically it. i have nothing more i can say and uh i actually like how the warm color of the headlights of the subway uh you know contrasts the blue with teal and orange classic complementary colors okay next scene breakdown um i'll um let's try this one yeah this one is also one of the one that was in my teaser trailer so out of the three shots that i demonstrated two are in the teaser trailer i think two it should be two right yeah two okay so this was no this was not in the teaser trail anyways this is also a shot that i made so some of these files are from like like november 2021 so yeah the textures are missing so i'm just gonna hide that it still works without it uh, the the ground isn't the main focus anyways yeah this has uh i was really happy with the lighting on this one too it is a really simple shot. This really does not take long to make. It's just a camera. Um, with uh, wait, it's just a camera with the road and with some uh rocks, which I got from Megascans too, and 
the core asset, which is the main core, core asset. I think it looks pretty good. Um, the lighting itself is very simple. The only lighting that is here is from the headlights, so you can see better when it's closer. Yeah, the headlights interacting with the volume, I think that looks really nice. And uh, there's one other big area lamp back here that also gives gives the most of the lighting. So without that, it looks it's just completely dark. Um, that has a slight blue shade to it, and I think I think the key to lighting is not overdoing it, especially with dark scenes, which are honestly I think the majority of the scene because the whole short takes place at night. There's only I think I think there's only one shot, and that is still dark. It's almost sunset anyway. So yeah, um, I love the wet road in this. Um, yeah, it's not perfect, but I think it's a perfectly suitable short little shot. And the animation of this is not that hard either. I just I just created this rig myself. I did, this shot is so simple that I do not need to have a, a professional car rig like car, car rig Pro or any of that. It's just, I'll tell you what I have. So I have, I have an empty that's parent to the whole car. And I have another empty that's parented only to the body of the car and uh, empties for each wheel. So during drifts I can I can for example tilt the body. So it's like this. I think that I think that adds just an extra layer of control. Okay, I think that was enough. Um sorry if I'm speeding through the scenes too quickly, but this isn't a tutorial, I was just you know, this really shouldn't be treated as a tutorial. Anyways, another shot. Um, this one I think also looks uh, pretty good. This is one of, this is not my favorite shot, but I think it's usable. Um, so this has very, very simple scene. Oh, oh no, missing textures. Oh yeah, right, of course. I'll fix that first, and I'll come back. I am back. And this is honestly another one of my uh, better scenes. A lot of them are not perfect, honestly. I've got to say that. But um, yeah, I think um, these are one of my better scenes. So the car is animated through a curve. I still, I'm only, I haven't, I think I'm only going to use a car rig for one of the shots, and that is the gas station shot, which many people have pointed out doesn't look very correct i'm gonna fix that maybe i'm not sure depends if i have time i'm way too busy and yeah um i'm way too busy right now uh, anyways um this is just the car the same rig from before fall uh ha the the main controller empty has the path is connected to the main path and it just does a little animation of coming in and and going in reverse and parking now one thing that I absolutely loved one thing that I found out when I made this project and that is in almost every single one of the later shots is this fence and I just love the fence wait let me just get myself light uh, area light? Area probably? Yeah, yeah, okay. Not in the car, in the environment. Okay, that won't appear here, but let me just... Mm. Okay, I got it going here. So, um, you see this pretty good looking fence? Yeah, well, this fence is just, it's just a flat plane with a PNG on it. Um, I think this looks pretty damn good, um, for, uh, for a distant shot, and honestly, I'm pretty proud of it. Um, and the building in the back is just, um, Ian Hubert building laser tutorial technique. 
the cars in the back and the cars even the main cars downloaded i'm not a modeler i'm not ashamed to say that and yeah honestly this is a pretty simple scene the I guess the ground texture may be interesting. The ground texture is just um let's see. The ground texture it's it's just this pretty good looking road textures from texture.com and the the raindrops which I thought was pretty cool looking is uh from a complete it's um wait, let me just isolate the light so you can see the raindrops. Okay, so if you actually everything else, the, 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 not the raindrops, I'm stupid, sorry, I meant the puddles. The puddles are just a uh, simple noise, so I, I, I just took a basic noise texture, I threw a color ramp, obviously it didn't make it zero because a completely zero, obviously because if the roughness was completely zero, that doesn't exist in real life, that is not a physical uh, possibility. So I just took all of that, ran into principal PSDF, and I think the ground looks pretty good. Um, yeah, that's it for uh, this one. Um, if there's any questions, by the way, just ask in the comments, because I'm really not going in too much detail. Because obviously, this isn't a finished project, and I actually do plan on releasing uh, other call this um i do plan on releasing a complete maybe like 30 minute complete in-depth breakdown this is just skimming through it in-depth breakdown of one of the scenes so i have a couple of scene choices right now i can you know what how, how much time do i have uh yeah i think we can go also so this is one of the filler shots, not the most important shots. This is honestly really simple. So you see, this is just a hack. Um, this is a PNG, uh, textures.com texture of a city just moving from, just moving closer. So it looks like the car is going closer. The car is a simple model. It's just beveled cube. Um, I got a plane. I extruded it, extruded it back out, extruded it down, did an inset and inset it back in. The edges are has a wood texture. Um, the main roof has a, a fabric, and yeah, I only added that in even if it's not on frame because of the reflections on the glass texture, which um, on the glass material, which is very simple. It's just um, it's just this. So I have a glass BSDF here, and I took different um, surface imperfections, smudges, general imperfections, and the noise texture, mixed them all together. So I'm, um, I know that using like default mix is not the correct way to do it, but it looks good enough. This is just a filler shot. It doesn't have to look perfect, and um. The mirror is just uh, something I hacked together. See, it doesn't even connect in the back. But who cares? No one's gonna even see the back. Uh, and the material for it is so simple. It's just uh, noise texture scaled up and sent to the bump so it looks like... You know one of those like fake leather plastic things they put on your cars? And uh, the mirror is just simple. It's just a mirror. Yeah, what else do I need to say about it? Um, and here, this doesn't look perfect, um, <sighs> sorry, this doesn't look perfect, the animation is definitely not perfect and definitely could be improved, but honestly, for something that's gonna take up so little uh, time in the shot, and it's so unimportant in the entire short. This is just a quick and easy method. I, I finished this entire scene in less than an hour. Um, this one in the back is purely for the reflection in the mirror. And um, the only way I got away... Oh, and this, by the way, is, a, is an American propaganda poster. Um, yeah. 
And the only way I got away with it is by using heavy depth of field on the camera. So if I just turn off the depth of field, you know, honestly, I still think it looks actually not that bad without the depth of field. Huh. Maybe the depth, maybe the, <coughs> so it wasn't just hiding on depth of field, it actually doesn't look horrible without the depth of field. That is interesting, certainly. Um, yeah, anyways, I used the HDRI. I think this is one of the only times I used the HDRI in this entire sh um, project. Um, lighting here is actually more complex than most of my scenes. It's um, a mission plane there, another very weak emission plane here. It's um, two lights inside, actually. This is just the general light that, you know, lights up the entire interior of the car quote-unquote interior and uh, this is just the light that I needed to add to make to bring the highlights to the poster because the main focus the focal point of the shot is that American propaganda so basically some context for this shot it is a shot that it's the 